Hey guys, I'm installing Ansible on my new Mac here, and I wanted to show you, uh, I want to take this opportunity to really show you how to in, in, um, look at system resources while something massive is running. So it's been going on uh, for the last 22 minutes at least, and it's doing going through a whole bunch of steps. But why it's doing that, uh, first of all, I want to show you what my Mac looks like. So I have, four CPUs, Intel Core i5. I also have 16 gigabyte of RAM. The Mac itself is kind of old, it's four, four years old, but in terms of resources, it's not bad. It's, it's got 16 gig of RAM and four cores, so it's not, it's not bad. But even so, it's taking, already it's taking 23 minutes plus to install Ansible on my Mac. While it's doing that, I'm running top, so I want to show you folks how to look at resource usage using top. So, as you can see here, um, there are a bunch of CLang processes taking up somewhere between 60 to 80% of the CPU. What it means is really when, when it says 69 or whatever, it's really 70% of the of one core. So I have four cores. And if you look, look at closely here, we have, oh, I don't know, maybe one, two, three, four, seven or eight CLang processes um, that's taking up 70 so percent or so. so Really, the CPUs are totally overworked. If I multiply 70 by seven or eight, I'm looking at 500, 600 CPU. I only have four cores, so it can only go up to four, uh, 400. So as you can see, the CPU is maxed out right now, installing um, Ansible, even though the Ansible install has been running for the last 23 minutes. The reason you see a Google Chrome taking up 100% CPU, meaning one core of the four, right? It is because Chrome is what's running my Loom recording. So that's taking up basically more than one core and the rest of them are using up the other CPUs. Uh, if you look at the time column, before we do that, looking at the PID column, those are the process IDs, pretty simple concept. If you look at the time column, you can see it's the, it's the overall how much CPU resource time it has, it has taken on. So if you look at that, Chrome has been running for two minutes or whatever, right? But the C-Lang processes are short. They're seven, you know, 10 seconds, two seconds long. So they're coming and going, right? So let's take a look at that. So let's take let's one of them. So let's the top one, 71616, and it's no longer there. So these guys are coming and going, right? Uh, whereas the Chrome has been running, recording this video. So it's stable here with three minutes or so. The others are just coming and going and coming and going and doing its thing and, and being done with it. If you look at this, I believe these are threads. So Chrome is multi-threaded, looks like. It's got 22 threads running. But the C-Lang processes are single-threaded, one of one. That's probably why it's taking so long, because this install process is using a bunch of C-Lang processes that are single-threaded that are coming and going. So I wanted to take this opportunity today, uh, while I'm installing Ansible, to show you how you can read top to look at um, to look at your systems, and th this happens to be my Mac, but this can easily be another Linux VM or a container, what have you, right? So this is a, a core way of troubleshooting system um, overuses issues by looking at what's actually causing that. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.